For the class project, you're going to be following along with me as I walk you through a series of line drawing exercises. The drawings that you create for each exercise is your project. The exercises that we're going to work through together are blind drawing, drawing with your non-dominant hand, hand, body, paper and pen positioning, playing with scale and speed drawing. By giving you these limitations and taking away some control, these exercises will separate you a little bit from your drawings, giving you permission to just have fun and just make a mess. For each exercise, I'll explain exactly what to do and how that exercise is gonna help you in developing better line drawing confidence. I'll be right there with you, drawing alongside you and sharing all my useful hints and tips along the way. Once we've completed each exercise, we'll reflect on what we've produced and perhaps some qualities that you might like to adopt into your regular drawing practice. The exercises are fun, quick and simple. The supplies are basic and these constraints can help you really just let go of what you feel your drawings should look like and they can lead to some really surprising results. In this class, since we're aiming to help you develop better line drawing confidence, it's absolutely up to you how many of these experiments you share in your class project. If you draw something that you really don't like, don't feel pressure to include it. Although sometimes other people can see some nuggets of gold in drawings that we just can't see. So feel free to upload the good, the bad and the ugly too. Progress is never pretty, but there's no pressure either way. It's entirely up to you. Please consider leaving some encouraging comments on other students' projects too. This will spark some creative ideas for you, but it provides also so much value for them. A supportive creative community is after all why we're all here. And leaving a positive comment on someone's project can just absolutely make their day. We'll be discussing more about materials you'll need, choosing your subject matter and some other ways to prepare for starting your drawings in the next videos. But first, we're going to take a look at what confident drawing is and how we can encourage it. So when you're ready, join me in the next video.